Hey, hey, this is Bastard Bombs, and welcome back to Let's Play Mass Effect. Last time, we picked up Rex's ancestral armor, which turned out to be, well, kind of crap, to be honest. And, uh, and then we took out four different Geth outposts, the latter of which we are still occupying, clearly, since I am holding on to the hope that something is going to come out of this for Tali, because she needs something from Geth that are not um, controlled by Saren, which seems to be the nature of the Geth in these various out outposts. Um, we haven't found anything so far, so I guess we're heading back. Maybe there's something else on this same planet, but we'll, we'll just have to see. Oh, well this works. <laughs> the category of events happening at this same outpost, this fits the bill. So I'm not complaining. Jesus. I like this. Good for good for sniping. Anybody else? You guys are just shooting at me. I don't appreciate it. Come on out. Yeah. This would be a major base of operations. I was thinking that too. Hold on. This receiver's picking up some kind of transmission. Based on the signal strength, I'd say it's coming from inside this star cluster. So you missed something? The main Geth base. Use the signal to lock onto its location and go take it out. Yeah, sounds like a plan. The main Geth base. Use the signal yeah, to lock yeah, onto its said. location Shh. and go take it out. I know. Okay, back to normally. Yes? I hope it wasn't on that same planet. Well, wouldn't be the worst thing to just have to go back down. So is it... Did she, did she even say where the signal... Wait. That wasn't there before, there were four. Okay. We discovered a new star system. That's kind of bigger news than Geth, I think. <laughs> Is it here? No, but I can survey things. Medallion recovered. Scans of Benda uncovered an ancient Slarian vessel. A small team was dispatched to ser search for valuables. The only item of value recovered was a link of one medallion. Alright. What about this? I can survey this. Some light metal. Sounds nice. It's a planet with a moon. We can also land on. I bet it's the moon. Wanna take bets? Yeah. We can land on the moon. This is definitely it. Okay. Uh, I've enjoyed having this team out. And they both have good armor. So I'm not worrying nearly as much about them suddenly dying. That's the planet behind us. Look, look, look. Ooh, that's pretty. It's a gas planet. And there's a level one hazard here, so it can't get out and shoot the geth if we want to. I don't know why we would do that, but we can't do it. <laughs> Anomaly. What's this? It's not telling me. It's extremely secret. It can't even tell me what it is. Hello, Geth. We're coming to crush your party. Your main base party. Wow, they're aggressive. I know. Life is hard when you're a Geth. Whoa, that didn't work. I don't want to get really up close and personal. They're gonna shoot at me. I'm not good at aiming while on the run. Ooh. Easy, does it? 
With some coloss colossuses? Colossi? Who knows? Colossedren? Like brethren? An oxen? Come on, just lie down. Just you left. Give it up. Give it up, guy. Yep. I'm gonna get a ship. Ship. Area secured. Oh. No ship. Alright, I guess the, uh, the big news is actually in this building, for want of a better word. It's more like a hub. Okay. What kind of nonsense is like, going on in here? Well, we don't know, because it's jammed. Whoa! This looks like fun. Oh my god! Rex, can you take care of this? Like you did before? On Ferris? That was really cool. You didn't take care of it! Oh, that was... that was... that's Tali. Tali is not quite as adept at uh, taking care of charging. What? What? It ruined my cover. That is really, really rude. What's going on up here? Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> I'm a little bit intimidated. Hey! Did it. That wasn't half as bad as it could have been. Hello. It's very. I like to imagine that these things are incredibly affectionate, and they just. They just don't want to admit it. Aww. Life is hard. As the last geth falls, you hear music from across the room. I don't hear music. <laughs> I couldn't be bothered to put in the music. On the monitor, Quarian stands before a hushed crowd, warbling a mournful a cappella of worlds and innocents lost. The recorded song is dispatched to the Geth worlds behind the Perseus Veil. The transmitter sh shuts down. Seriously? I want to see that scene! What the hell, game? <sighs> Fine. Now is not the time. I think it is! Don't yell at me, Tali. Let's take a look around, see if there's anything for Tolly, even though she yelled at us. We can still look, unless all the doors are locked, then we can't. How about back here? Anything notable for Tolly? This seems like it'll fit the bill. You discover a number of encrypted Geth data files. This sounds good! In the proper hands, like Tally's, they could reveal much about the evolution of the Geth since the banishment of the coins. This is perfect. This is perfect, Tally. This is perfect. This is perfect. You lead. I'll follow. She doesn't have anything to say yet. Maybe she'll have something to say when we get back to the Normandy. But I'm excited. We found something for her um, pilgrimage. Yes. She's gonna love us. <laughs> That's all I really want from this game. I want Tally to love me. Okay, so, Garrus shut us down, but I am holding out hope that Rex and Tali will have something to say about their respective missions that we finished in this episode and the last episode. Okay, Rex first, because he's closer. Hi Rex, tell me about- Never a dull moment with you, Shepard. Yes! Okay. He'll talk to us. Now, how about something about the armor? You ever go on any missions like ours before? No, about the armor. Saving the galaxy from certain destruction? No, but I've had my share of adventures. All right, well, tell me. Do you remember any that stick out? A few. I remember one time I was hired by a Volus diplomat. Okay. What an ass. <laughs> that kind of seems like a trend with Volus. I guess even politicians have need of mercs from time to time, huh? Time to time. If it wasn't for politicians, I'd be out of work. I believe it. They're always looking for ways to get ahead. This one was no different. He wanted me to erase his past. 
could get rid of an old friend who knew too much. Huh. His old friend turned out to be an Asari commando. That's bad news, is it? I can see why that might give you pause. What? No. Alina and huh? I were old friends. That's cool. Krogan and Asari friendship. I want to see we more of that. We were both contracted to kill the same Turian. Neither of us wanted the other one to get him first. <laughs> That's how. That's kind of how we met. Time fighting each other, then tracking that Turian. Which one of you made it first? It was a tie. What? How does that? That doesn't make sense. I brought back his head. Oh. She got the rest of him. As far as I know, we both got paid. All right. <laughs> anyway, when I told Alina about the diplomat's contract, she and I had a good laugh about it. And then? So what'd you do? Well, I was going to lose the contract, but I respected Alina. In the end, I let her pick the location where we'd fight. Each she other? She chose some old Solarian space station overrun with mercs and smugglers. That way we didn't have to worry about hurting any innocent bystanders. Just guilty bystanders. <laughs> she always was a bit of a softie. <laughs> What happened on the station? What didn't happen? For two days, I two days. Through the station, used my entire store of ammunition, had to kill a bunch of mercs and use their crap weapons. By the third day, the station was barely holding together. The mercs were dead or gone. Life support was failing, but I had her. You killed her? She locked herself in the oh. labs. She was trying to patch herself up. Damn tough, that one. Then just when I thought I had her, the station's core went critical. Barely made it back to my ship in time. Oh, so she... What happened? I assume the Asari commando didn't make it. I, I wanted to make it. From a distance. I never saw her leave. And when that place blew... Oh. There was nothing left larger than a Turian's right nut. How come Krogan's and Turians oh, are always talking about each other's testicles? It's weird. Collect my pay. But before I got halfway there, uh. Alina sent me a message. Better luck next time. <sighs> That's awesome. Now, what a happy ending. But if someone can survive that, well, they deserve to live. I agree. At least bit longer. What about the diplomat? He wanted her dead. I told him the truth. <laughs> Alina was still alive and she was really pissed. I told him if he wanted to live, he'd need me around to protect him. Oh, Rex has got moves. And he believed you. Ha 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 ha. He kept me on as his personal guard until he died. Natural causes. Easiest job I've ever had. <laughs> A little boring, but credits are credits. I guess Elena doesn't hold grudges. Okay, we know all that stuff. I thought you'd have something to say about your armor, but that was a cool story. Thanks, Rex. So long, Rex. How about Tali? Is she going to disappoint me as well? Well, that wasn't disappointing. That was a good story. But I I did want some feedback on the fact that we got his armor for, for him. Hi, Tali. Shepard, I need to talk to you. It's important. Oh, good. Let's talk. Is something wrong? You know the data you took yes! from the control nodes. Yes! She has something to say about it. you uploaded to Alliance Control? I want a copy of it. Of course. You want to bring this data back to the migrant fleet. That's why we went Those there. Those files have information that could be vital to our efforts to understand the Geth. It could be the key to helping us reclaim our home world. <laughs> Such a clingy response. Then you'll leave us. I am clingy when it comes to Tally, but I'm not going to say that. You think you can use this information to destroy your enemy? Not right away. We will need to study it. It could take years. But it will give us new insight into how the Geth have changed and evolved over the past centuries. Okay, definitely. It's for you, basically. Go ahead, make a copy. 
My people, I owe you a great debt. One I can never repay. You repay me with your company, Tally. You're wonderful. The only thing I can offer in return is what you already have. My solemn promise to stay with you until Saturn and his Geth armies are defeated. I never wanted anything more. Thank you, Shepard. I want so much more. But it doesn't seem like you're a romance option, so... Oh, well. And, uh, now I think... I'm gonna look into the missing marines that Admiral Kahoku told us about. That is the order of the day. Message from Admiral Hackett, Commander. Patching it through. We just oh. received your report. Looks like this Geth incursion was bigger than we thought. They were probably preparing for a major offensive in the system. We're increasing patrols in the Armstrong cluster to make sure they can't establish another foothold in the region. Probably a good nice idea. Job, Shepard. You saved a lot of human lives on this mission. Hack it out. Hypothetical lives, that is. Bye, Hackett. I like your voice. Alright. So I checked before this episode where we're go where we're going for this next mission. I want to be prepared for once. We're going to the Artemis Tau. There it is. And I don't know the planet though, so I'll have to check around a little bit. Commander, I'm picking up a signal from the planet's surface. It looks like an automated distress beacon. Sounds likely. Missing Marines would be sending out a automated distress be beacon. Sure. All right. It's definitely time to mix it up a bit. Let's go. That's a lot of combat and no biotics, but that's fine. It's all gross and yellow here. Probably toxic. It's probably not uh, Geth that will end up killing um, Shepard, but uh, toxins from planets that she visits. Where are we going? Distress signal, anomaly, debris. What are the distress signal? It's out in the middle of nowhere here. Is anyone here? Whoa! What the shit? What the shit? What the shit? What is that? Oh my god! It does not look friendly, that's all I really need to know. <laughs> I jumped like half a mile, not half a mile, but I did jump. I'm easily startled in my defense. Trust it. Are those all bodies? On my way. Alliance soldiers. Aww. Looks like they were lured here by the distress beacon. So these it's all the Marines are all dead. Yeah. We will. Are we are we doing anything about this? What's 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 this? Nothing else to do here. Alright. Cool. That was very quick. Let's go back to the Normandy. Do we have to go back to the Citadel to tell him? I mean, I'm okay with doing that. Citadel, sweet Citadel! We're back at, uh... The Citadel, and we have to tell Admiral Kahoku the bad news. 
Seems like we only ever have bad news. Where the hell is he? <sighs> Seems like we only ever have bad news to tell people. Never good news. There he is. Hey, dude. Waiting to speak with one of Hi. Any word on my missing men? I'm sorry. I'm not sure how to tell you this, Admiral. Your men were killed by a thresher maw. A thresher maw? That's not... My men wouldn't just stumble into a thresher nest. Not the entire unit. Oh, do you think it was a trap? Okay. Somebody lured them there with an Alliance distress beacon. Placed it perfectly so they'd land right beside the thresher nest. I wonder who yeah. did that. I had a bad feeling about this ever since my team disappeared. An Alliance beacon used as bait. My unit wiped out. And nobody seems to know anything about it. I'm sorry, Neither dude. I that appreciate sucks. What you did. Now I need to do my part. The families of those Marines deserve to know why they died. Anything you need from me? Not right now, Shepard, but I'll let you know as soon as I find something out. The way that this particular mission was delivered to me um, suggested that this was the part of some kind of loose B plot, not B plot, C plot, D plot, whichever. Um, I'm not really seeing how it could lead into anything else, but okay. I am curious about the helmet you always wear, Tally. Does it contain technical augmentation systems? No, living in the clean environment of the flotilla has weakened our immune systems. The environmental suits protect against diseases. I suppose that makes it more hmm. likely you will return from your pilgrimage then. You are only truly safe on your flotilla. That's depressing. So they can't ever get out of those suits. Of course, because I am 12, my mind instantly goes to, how do they procreate? Alright, so I was thinking... I, I really thought that was, that was going to lead somewhere, so... Kind of scuppers my plans a little bit. I guess I could look into the, um... The... what's it, what's it, what's it, what's it called? espionage probe I was supposed to look into. Um, I know I was supposed to go to the Voyager cluster at some point. I don't remember why, but uh, let's start there. Commander, incoming signal from 5th Fleet HQ on the Citadel. Okay. Commander Shepard, something uncomfortable has just come up. In the first contact war, we fired a lot of espionage probes into Turian space. There we go, espionage we just probes. just received a mission complete burst from one of them. Uh, alright. Oh yeah, that was like 26, 26 years ago? Where's it been in the meantime? No idea. Lost in transit. These probes were built in a hurry after first contact. Okay. So, what does that mean? What makes this uncomfortable? When these probes were launched, we didn't have any idea who we were fighting. We didn't want to risk aliens examining our technology. The probe has a demo nuke built in. A 20 kiloton tactical fusion warhead. Oh, uh, shit. About equal to the bomb dropped on Hiroshima back in the 20th. If somebody finds that probe, tampers with it. Yeah. You don't need me to finish, Commander. I don't, really. I understand this must be handled, but I don't have anyone trained to deal with this sort of thing, sir. Yeah. I don't have any bomb disposal people. Important. These probes have been classified for 26 years. The council will call fusion bomb booby traps dangerous and irresponsible. The well, they are. Censure if they find this probe. I'm asking you because the Normandy can get on site quickly and quietly. It's in the Voyager cluster. Well, I know that you contacted me because I'm in the Voyager cluster, so obviously. We'll get on it immediately, Admiral. And we'll be discreet. I appreciate that, Commander. Good luck. The fleet out. All right. I didn't say where in the Voyager cluster. Just the entire cluster. Is this it? I guess we're going here. Let's just check before we do anything to see if I'm actually on the right planet. Alliance homing beacon. Okay, so it is. All right. And, you know, 
I've gone over a bit. It, uh, my, my plans were kind of messed up a little bit because I thought that I would be doing the UNC Cerberus mission after UNC Missing Marines. I don't know why. It was just kind of lined up that way in, in, in my list um, that I kind of cobbled together from various sources. Um, but uh, I guess that, that didn't work out because I wasn't given that mission. But that's okay because I had other things to do. So I'm going to head towards this and uh, I'll pick up from right outside of where the beacon is, I suppose, and I'll try to get there, maybe actually using the roads instead of the fucking mountains. <sighs> Alright, you guys stay peachy.